My name is Alan Joel Belsberg, MD. I am a neurosurgeon here at Johns Hopkins Hospital and I work at the Kennedy Krieger Institute as well. I'm a professor of neurosurgery here at the Institute. When the nerves get stretched, how do we know it has occurred? We look for certain symptoms, which is what a patient or a family member will tell us is going on with the child. For example, there may be some tingling, some pins and needles type sensations, like when your leg goes to sleep. This time the child will feel some tingly pins and needle kinds of things. In a more severe injury, there's loss of function where things aren't moving correctly. So someone may notice that one side of the arm, one arm is moving nicely, the other arm isn't moving in a symmetric manner. So that tips the person off that there's something going on in the brachial plexus or in the nerves controlling the upper extremity. In similar fashion, someone can get a nerve injury in the lower extremities. And so we look to one side versus the other side. And if there's asymmetry where the two sides aren't working the same, we start thinking, is this a problem with the brain, spinal cord, or in this case, the peripheral nerves.